Okie doke. So basically I start with a sketch and then I'm gonna make, this is like the finished thing that we're gonna get to at the end, I make a layer under the sketch um, and I get the brush that I like to use for coloring which is like flat but has like a little bit more of a natural edge so it's not like as you can tell like the color is flat in the middle but the edges are like a little bit jaggy so it doesn't look super like airbrushy and perfect um, and then I uh, there's like a couple ways you can do it one way is you can fill in the whole shape I'm doing this super quickly obviously um, you can like fill in the whole shape uh, with like one color <laughs> you do it very neatly in color within the lines not like this at all um, and then I'd uh, switch over to the bucket and fill it in and then it leaves this like little jaggy edge um, and it's still like takes time to go back and fill that in but it's at least faster than like coloring the entire thing in you know like scribbling it in by hand um, so that the bucket does like fill up a lot so then um, what I would do is do command shift N to make a new layer and then I would say click this thing here which says use previous layer to create clipping mask and what that does is it lets you only draw on the part that you've drawn in the layer below it. So like, see I'm drawing, 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 uh, but it doesn't start showing up until I get over her. And this makes it really helpful to do stuff like block in clothing because I can draw like as fast and loose as I want and I don't need to worry about like drawing outside the lines. So, that's basically, I have no idea why I chose these colors, but that's basically how I do, um, let me guess something I can see a little better. That's basically how I do, like, all the basic clothes, um, is just, like, fill in one layer for the whole shape, and then make a clipping mask. I should be making a new clipping mask layer for, for like, the shirt and a new one for the pants. Um, and, uh, and then once I've done these things neatly, I'm going to delete this because it's garbage. Once I've done these things neatly, um, it'll look something like this. So like I have, I don't even know what that is. I have like the shirt on a layer and I have like the pants on a layer and the skin and I like to do that because then I can um, change the colors of each one really easily. So say I like didn't like her having an orange shirt because I put it on its own layer, I can just do Command U and I can just like go through this hue slider and I can see what really quickly what she would look like with like a yellow or a green or a blue shirt. Um, so then at this point I would turn the um, lines off and I would see like, okay, cool. Oh, you know, I left on <laughs> the lines that I drew um, on top of her. So this is just what it would look like with the blocked in shapes. And I'd turn the lines off and I'd be like, cool, I did a good job blocking in the shapes. And then what I'd do is I'd put the lines on like a low opacity, like 50%, and I'd zoom in and I'd make a new layer, and I usually call it like lines or details, and I start um, drawing back in lines anywhere. So like, as you can see here, let me hide this. As you can see here, it just looks like a giant sea of pink. Um, and the only thing that was like differentiating her face from her arm was this line art that I drew. But since I don't want to keep line art in my finished piece, what I have to do is I have to go back in and redraw this line. And then this line here. Basically anywhere like the two of the same colors are touching and you would normally need line art to like differentiate them. That's where you're going to have to draw a line art to differentiate them. But you want to leave everything else 
with no line art. So see if I hide the line art again, then there's at least like lines differentiating things here. So I like go around the whole piece and I do that. I personally like to choose just like a darker, more saturated version of the color that like the flat that I'm gonna be drawing over. So I draw like the shadow under her breast here and like a little bit of like lines in the fabric. Um, and you know, I can draw some like wrinkles in her jeans and like draw this like crotch line in her jeans there. So that's how I do, like that's how I like add um, line art back in. So again, I'm gonna delete this because it's garbage. Um, and we're gonna put back in what I had drawn already. So that's all the details of, I think, of her body. So then what I like to do is um, for this piece, I wanted to add like some lighting and it's uh, the easiest way to do that is with these, um, they're called layer modes over here. And uh, you make a new layer and I'll just call this light. And anytime you do light, you want to set it to overlay. And anytime you do shadow, you want to set it to multiply, but we'll go over that in a sec. And um, then you take like a warm light color. Here for a second, I'll show you what it would look like normally. So if I just started drawing on her now, say I wanted to have like light hitting the top of her face, it would just, you know, block her in with yellow and it looks like crap and you're sort of like, what, why, why would you do that? Um, but then if you go over here and set it to overlay, <laughs> it still kind of looks horrifying because I did it really rush. But as you can see, like, it's not like a flat yellow anymore. It's like a lighter version of whatever color you're painting it over. And that's super helpful because it means that you don't need to pick all these colors individually yourself. Um, so what I did was I made a little dappled sunlight layer and you can see here it's on overlay. And if we go back to normal, it looks like I picked like a medium desaturated yellow. Um, and then for the shadows, we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna change it to multiply and we're gonna grab like a light cool toned color. So like periwinkle or like seafoam green, like just think like light and cool. And then we can start adding shadows and um, it does the same thing as overlay where it like makes just a cooler, darker version of the color that was like underneath it. Um, sorry, I'm doing this really rushed so it doesn't look very good, but you can tell like what, what it's doing at least. Um, so yeah, uh, overlay and multiply. So overlay for the lights and then multiply for the shadows. Um, and then for any softer light, what I did was I just made this big, like bloomy sort of yellow haze. You, this is in normal mode. I'm gonna switch it to overlay. And that sort of just like blew her out a little bit. Like it, it like lightens that whole area. Um, so yeah, that's like how I color stuff. And then once I've, um, oh, <laughs> so this whole thing that you've been seeing has been with the like adjusted colors on. So these are the colors I, I was literally drawing with. Like I was literally drawing with like this for the skin tone, oops, with like this for the skin tone and like this for the t-shirt. But then what I did, which I always do because I'm not the very greatest at picking colors, is I, I go to the top layer, the very last thing I drew, and then I come up to layer, and the new adjustment layer, and you can do any of these, but I think I did, the most common ones I do are curves, 
and color balance. And what Curves does is you can like change the whole piece's color at one time. So let's say I want it to be like really red toned. I'll like go over to this and I'll make it really warm. And you just like play around with this um, and adjust these little like curves here. Let me know if this makes no sense to you and you're not familiar with using curves. Um, but so yeah, so as you see it like made a layer on top of every other layer you did. So it's affecting everything below it. And it made it like nice and saturated and like a little bit nicer looking. So what I did was I finished drawing all these things and then I made this color balance layer. Um, and she looks a lot nicer now. So yeah, that's like a basic overview of how I color stuff is like start out with a sketch, block in just the like flat shapes of everything, you know, just the skin and just the shorts and just the shirt. Um, and then I go in and like draw back in some of the lines that you need for like differentiation. And then I go and I make an overlay layer with the lights and a multiply layer for the shadows. And um, yeah, that's like, that's pretty much it.